So if I go up here then, I imagine. Is it? Whoa! Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. <laughs> How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I can't hide it any longer. Come, small one. Surprise! I like surprises. What's with this tree? Every time this whole old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. How bizarre. Ooh, see. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in ruins gives you determination. Home? Huh. There's a difference between a house and a home. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie! I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I, I want you to have a nice time living here. So I'll hold off on small pie for tonight. Oh, snail pie. Not small. Snail. Here, I have another surprise for you. Living here? Okay. That's abrupt, but... I mean, it seems nice. Size an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Uh, should I immediately follow her? I kind of want to poke around. I'm not sure if the game will hate me for doing that. Come on, let's... This is it. Oh, she's come by the hand. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh my god, it's adorable. It is something burning. Um, make yourself at home. <laughs> I've seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. Well, let's, let's check my room. Oh, it's so cute. Look at all these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Ah. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Box of kid shoes in a disparity of sizes. Ooh. That's quite nice. But one sec, let's let go back to this set. Box of kid shoes in disparity of sizes. It sort of sounds like the implication there is there have been various kids here before of different ages. Interesting. Yeah, oh, I didn't want to immediately go to bed. Whoops. Oh, she left me pie. I found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh, it's going to Doral. Putting the light back on. And Let's have a poke around. Is this going to be Toriel's room? Oh, yeah. It's like it. Just a regular old bucket. Oh, of snails. <laughs> and more after this. Toriel's diary. Read the circle. I feel this is a moral choice, and I'm not. I'm not gonna go ahead. Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. Well, Toriel's rather large. She's she's rather 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 large lady. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. Ah, that plant up there, that's interesting. It really stands out a lot. Uh, oh, more subterranean plants. Yeah, same one. Peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer. Okay. Is this a cactus? Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundere of plants. Or sundere. Or someone is going to hate me in the comments. No matter how I pronounce that, someone is going to hate me in the comments. So let's... Let's move on from it. She really likes her plants, though. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. Ah! Oh, it's me! Oh! It's a water sausage. Oh, this is really nice. This way to the kitchen? Oh, that's Toriel. I'll have a word with her in a second. I'm just gonna have a poke. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, let's poke around downstairs. Let's... Uh -huh. 
I don't want to be there anymore. Let's let's do that later. Let, let's let's go around the nice house before we go to the horrible, despairing place. Fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. Let's not put our hand in the fire. In a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind, behind the barrier of fearful. Oh, sorry, I was misreading how that was wrote then. Uh, the flow of the words, as it were. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. Interesting. The ends of the tools have been far down to make them safer. This is a very child friendly home. I'm not sure if she was anticipating children. <coughs> Some white fur stuck in the drain. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. So I have a cupboard of cut cutters for gingerbread monsters. It's too adorable! The size of a pie intimidates me too much for me to eat it. Stove pot is very clean. Sorry, I'll use must use fire magic instead. Oh yeah, we did see a sort of uh, using fireballs at the start to sort of throw off. Uh, Flowey, uh, our old friend Flowey. Let's, let's talk to him. Let's talk to him. Come on. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favourite book hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. <laughs> <coughs> oh, she's killing me. Ugh. Anyway, uh, yes, I, 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 I'm in love with this character. I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? That's, that's horrible. Nothing. Nothing. I'll talk to me again if you need anything. Can I call her whilst I'm in the room with her? Call her. Dial. Hey, you silly child. If you want to talk to me, I'm right here. Click. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> good. That's a reasonable reaction. I'm going to go towards the scary now. And now I'm going to call a mum because uh, I need a mummy right now. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me mum? Well, I suppose does that make you happy to call me mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. So but yeah, it seems like she was anticipating. Ooh, I think you should play upstairs instead. Um, interesting. So yeah, she definitely doesn't want me going down there. I don't. I don't want to disobey my goat mum. Snuggle up in bed again. If I can. Did anything? Is she still in the chair? Yeah. Um. I feel I've only got one option. Oh, do I want to hear the book about? It's called Seventy Two Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know about snails? have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? I didn't know that. Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. I don't want to disappoint my goat mum, guys. I feel this game's wanting me to break her heart. I need anything 
nothing just nice. If I go to bed and come back again, will she have more snail facts for me? I'd like more snail facts right now. I'm desperately trying to find an find an option here which is don't horrifically upset Goatman. Uh well, what will happen if I try and go downstairs again? Wow, this place is horrible and scary. It's dangerous to play here. Okay, let's... How to exit? I have to do something. Stay here. Mom? Mom? Just go to the scary place. Please don't have gone to the scary place. Mom? You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. One way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. But, Mum? Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, they will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Hmm. Okay, let's press on. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Mum? You want to leave so badly? <laughs> Just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. <coughs> oh, she's killing me. No. Oh, she's killing me. 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 Tutorial blocks I, I, I don't want to fight you. Tutorial attack eighty, defense eighty. Knows best for me. Whoa. Tutorial looks through me. I couldn't think of any conversation topics. Uh, 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 please stop. Does that work? Mr. White. Please leave me alone. I tried to think of something to say again, but. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, Turtle prepares a magical uh, item. Uh, uh, spite, spider donut. I ate the donut. I will come to our village. Good. Okay, let's. Oh my! I'm just hitting me with everything. Ah! Uh, ha, ha, please. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. I don't know how to dodge any of her attacks. Please, please, please. Uh, what? I, I somehow dodged that. Please. Her, her dialogue's changing with each spare. So I, I, I can only assume I'm doing the right thing. She's also attacking less. Uh, but I do need some sort of healing. I ate the butts of pie. My head she was maxed out. She seems confused. 
Ah! Ah! Come on, please! What are you doing? I'm trying to get you to stop! Attack or run away! No! Come on! What am I proving this way? Stop, 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 stop. Find me on Come on. Stop it. You first, ma'am! Come on. Stop looking at me that way. Ah! Ah, oh, this attack's ferocious, I hate it! I don't have any more healing. Spider Cider, I guess. HP was maxed out. Oh. Go away! Oh, if I stay still. Oh, no, staying still was not the answer. But person, we've got. Come on! No, wait, have I cycled through all the dialogue options? What's. Uh, I told you! My tongue does not seem to... What am I doing? Uh, uh, sparing seems to have got me so far, but she just went on the dots again. Please... Wait, is she... Is she purposely making them not hit me anymore? I know you want to go home, but... but please, go upstairs now. I'm just curious. Well, you can. You don't have to be an asshole to attack her right now. Wow. Spare. I promise I'll take good care of you here. <laughs> Things I want you to is the issue. Like I, as a player, have no real desire to leave the ruins, but I, I think the game wants me to for terms of game progression. So I feel horrible about doing that. I know we don't have much, but I have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please go upstairs. Can I talk now? Okay. Pathetic, is it not? Can't save a single child. That's probably why all those shoes were there then. No, I, I understand. I'm just be unhappy trapped down here. Ruins are very small when you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. A few my child. Put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. I don't want to leave. Goodbye, my child. I want to go back and hug her. Please, guy. Please, I want to go back to mom. Mom? Here? Seems like the right side of Toriel. It was her chair.
just gone. Okay, I'm gonna uh, leave it off there for today, guys. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, yeah, it's weird. I don't think I've had a game get me to relate to a character in such a short space of time. In a way, I kind of would have liked more time with her beforehand, just to build that a bit more. Because, I mean, I think a lot of my attachment comes to her from having known a bit about her before coming into the game. I'm not sure if I would be as immediately attached. Either way, what we do show of her is excellent, and she is a great and adorable character. But, uh... Yeah, I guess I'm going to save it here for now. And, uh... Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend one more night in that bed. And see if she shows up. I, I, I want to say goodbye, I don't know, it's weird. Dragon, please. Wake up. You're the future of humans and monsters. Uh... Um... Can I... Hello? hello? Mom? <laughs> Mom, someone was talking to me in my sleep. I don't think it was you. Can I, can I ring her? Don't ring. Nobody could... Wow, uh... Fuck, okay, I get, yeah, I'll... I'll save and I will, uh... See you again next time, guys. Uh, thank you all for joining me. I'll see you again. Uh... Ciao for now.